Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Jenny and last Friday I went to a few of my Dollar Trees. I did get a quite a bit of footage and that video was supposed to go up this past Saturday but a lot of you know what had happened so that was not possible. I did try to go to my favorite Dollar Tree today. I recorded about three minutes and I had to leave. I was nauseous and becoming very dizzy so I had my husband uh, take me back home. I'm going to try my best to stay upbeat during this video and I'm going to do a quick story time here at the very end. So with all that said, I hope you all enjoy these trips to the Dollar Tree. So right off bat, right here by the door, they came back with these like galvanized tin corn stalks. This is like a yellow orange ombre. And there's the other one that's more orange. I don't know if they're the same ones from last year. I'm not sure. And they had some flocking balls. I was able to find these on Friday. You'll see that here later on in the video. So yay for the flocking balls. Here they have some new Sharpies. These are Mystic Gems. They had six different colors. They have a lot of DVDs again. I remember watching some of her videos on YouTube. Always great deals finding DVDs and Blu-rays along with their books for only a dollar. You guys, look at this. Rust-Oleum Peelable Primer Spray Paint. 12 ounce can. What? Look at that. For a dollar. This one is Peel Coat Custom Shop Matte Red. And look at this gel stain. What? For only a dollar? The gel stain's amazing. They had so many different colors to choose from. Wow. Name brand. Here's another one. Early American. And I forgot to show you all the other spray paint they had. See, I'm just, I'm still not right. Um, but here they have some cinnamon spice. A three ounce jar. These are new flashlight and waste bags. LED flashlight with waste bag holder. They had it in green and black. You do get 15 bags with it and you can buy the refills there at the Dollar Tree as well. I don't know if this is new. Um, I should have bought like 20 of these to use, but um, I don't know. If you tried it, let me know. Look at this, luxury, 70% rubbing alcohol. It's normally 50. Hmm. Look at these ginormous stickers. 3D stickers. Those are so cute. So I'm going to show you all six that they had. I found these over by um, the stationary stuff and like the school supplies. And right there on the very top, you can kind of see how big they are, the size. I forgot to do a close up. Just bear with me. Haven't seen these in a while. These are the Mirror Majestic Stickers by Josh. Ooh, these are new. Look at these whole, can't, well, are they pillars, I guess you can call them? Those are really neat and different. This one looks like a, like a stone print. Is that a thing? I don't know. If you don't like the colors, you can always spray paint them. Ooh, look, look at these new water bottles. There's no spout. There's no straw. It's just... A water bottle. I like the colors though. Rubber grip. Three different colors. Pretty colors that is. Here's some new hair clips if you like to have gems in your hair. And there's two bobby pins. 
Now you can always rip those gems off and use them on other things. Color for men, brown. One colorant. They have the owl salt and pepper shakers and the pumpkins and the squirrels. I think they've had these like every year. Oh, they have the phone flask back in. It is hanging on the plastic strip over by the plates. How about some gluten-free spaghetti? Here's a new picture frame. It's an 8 by 10 by Special Moments. Okay, I don't know if this is a new brand of Q-tips, but maybe it's the Dollar Tree brand. I don't know, but the container is very durable. Very impressed. Get 300. They have some new notepads here. You get 50 sheets, four and a half by, well, four and a half. A little dogging. Don't worry, I've put them back where they belong. And there's a kitty cat. Call me kitty. Kitty cat. And a little cat with pearls and a pug. These are new as well. These are list pads. You get 26 sheets. That's what it looks like inside that one. Brand new day. Sure is. Pick one day at a time. Make today great. Amen. Today is the day. Look at this. They have some new scarves. 63 inch by 13.8 inch. There's like a cheetah print for that wild side. There's some stripes and that's a pretty color. Look at this one. The stars and it says dream. It's a really cute. This scrunchie just screams 1980s. Love it. They have some new lanyards. Once again, hanging up on that plastic strip. I always tell you guys to make sure you check all the plastic strips down every single aisle, every end cap, and every checkout lane because you never know what you might find. Lots of new notebooks. I like the rainbow ones. Cute. Flying panda is something you don't see every day. Some pinwheels. Plastic. Here's some new keychains. Very fluffy hearts. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at these pumpkins. These are so cute. They're galvanized and they have a little bow. Now you can always spray paint them if you don't like the colors. Sorry, it would not... Um, focus on the size of it. The yellow's different. I like that. Okay, you guys. <gasps> oh, flocking balls. An entire box of flocking balls. And now I did not buy them all. I just bought a couple of each color. These are just amazing. I did price these at Hobby Lobby a couple weeks ago, and I, gosh, I'm trying to remember my memory. Um, I think they were like $4.99, $5.99. Just crazy. Look at all the beautiful colors. Oh, flocking balls. I've been looking for you. By Floral Garden. These are new. These are mood boards. My frame of mind. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. And they come with little pegs. And you put the peg next to how you're feeling or your mood. Oh, that's funny. And it props up like a picture frame. My state of mind. Oh my gosh, these are so funny. And they had this one, the mom state of mind. Oh my gosh, all you moms out there. 
Yes. And I believe, yeah, so they just had those three. <laughs> those are so cute. I was able to find all the new calendars. I'm going to show you some of these, like on the very back. Sorry, I almost fell over. Um, again, all this footage was taken on Friday evening. And, oh, sunrises and sunsets. So many of you know how I feel about sunrise and sunsets. Oh, it's just, I love it. Beautiful pictures. And then they had this one. And these are going to go super fast, especially the ones I'm about to show you. Here's the farmer's market. Now, a lot of you might not need a calendar. You probably use your phone or your computer or whatever for, you know, mark things on your calendar. But you can cut these pictures out. You can Mod Podge them on other things. Just try to think outside the box when you find stuff like this and just think of other ways on how to use it. And I'd love to hear your guys' ideas. Very, very cool having an imagination the way you guys do. So if you bought, you know, certain Dollar Tree products, go ahead and comment down below and share on how you used it. And you might help other viewers because I know a lot of you guys read each other's comments and that. So just know that your opinion or your thoughts can help others out there. Yeah, those are really cute. And then these are the other calendars. I'm just going to show you the outside. And these are by Jot. And these are over by the school supplies um, here on the end cap at my favorite Dollar Tree. So just be sure at your Dollar Tree that you look everywhere because usually they prop these calendars up pretty much anywhere they have an open space. There's the big calendars. They had it in four different colors. These are the desk calendars and large print. Ugh, it has my name written all over it. Large print. They had three different colors. And then, of course, there's those that I just showed you. They had the puppies, the wildlife, birds, nature, mountains, tropical fish. Yeah, large variety. Look at these. These are like little trays or like little trinket trays, but they're a pretty good size. Of course, they are owls. They have them in three different colors. Again, I'm sorry, I did not measure anything. Um, but hopefully this gives you an idea on how big they are. I would say probably five inches if I had a guess. Look at here, the pumpkins. And yes, the white ones have no stems. Here's some new wine glasses. Good things will happen. Really. A bunch of their fluffy pillows. Cute colors. And they have these LED lights back in stock. These are amazing. They have it in silver and gold. And look at this glow basket ball set. It's pretty big. Very impressed. For only a dollar? This is over by the um, teaching tree stuff. These are banner art paper. Now you can use these for backgrounds for some DIYs or in scrapbooking. Use it in the background of maybe in a picture frame or something. We have the star one. And then I think this is supposed to look like wood or something. I don't know. But they're in a box, right, like that. So just keep an eye out if you're looking for anything like that. Here are some new poly binders. A few different colors to choose from. Over here by the makeup, here's a hard candy. I believe this is eye shadow. Yep, 
eyeshadow. Cool container. This is hard candy as well. This is problem dry skin, hydrate skin, coconut oil. One ounce. Huh. Different. Here's some new scrunchies. You get three per pack. And you can kind of see the shampoo in that in the background or body wash. Whatever that is over there. I think it's shampoo. These are really nice. I mean, for only a dollar. Cute. More scrunchy items. Or scunchy. Is it scunchy? Yeah, I think it's scunchy. Keep talking to yourself, Jenny. Just keep talking to yourself. Lots of hair goodies over here. They always have a nice variety of hair goods. A lot of cute headbands, clips, barrettes. They had a ton of shirts today. Well, I shouldn't say today, it was actually Friday. But very impressed. I mean, they had like polo shirts, they had tank tops, they had jerseys, they had like other fancy tops like this. Now you can always cut these up and do other things with them and use that lace for a project or something. I mean, look at all this. Hands. Just make sure there's no holes or marks in them. These are new by Jot. Expandable file folder. Eight pockets. A few different colors. Over here, they have the Berry Garland back in stock by Floral Garden. It's a 2.7, I think 2.7 feet, I do believe. They have it in different colors. They have these hanging over by some of the floral. I like that one and the green one. Look, these are new. These are so cute and you get four of them. They're blank books and each of them have 16 pages. So that'd be really cute for your little one or your students to write a book, maybe at the beginning of the school year or beginning of like summer break or spring break, Christmas break or whatever. Oh my gosh, they're getting these back in. Fantastic deal. Here are some new dog toys. They do squeak and they're very spiky and rubbery. They had it in blue and pink. A spiky donut. And the ball. Heck, you kick play with that. And a pink one. Oh, look at these beautiful flower clips. So this one's like more of a cream color with some glitter. And then there is a red one. <laughs> that looks like something for Christmas. This one is that beautiful coral color. And they had orange. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at these. Look at the detail. OMG. What? Oh my gosh, these, these definitely have my older girls' names written all over them. Two different colors. Oh, and look at these skeletons. Obviously, I'm missing... Well, what one is it? C. The, they're covering their eyes. So that one I need to find, but these are so cool. The detail. Wow. Very impressed. Wow. Okay, and this is new. Well, I already hauled it, but found it again. And I do believe this came from Walmart. It's a few dollars. Very soft bristles. It's for your face, by the way, but I'm sure you can use it for other things if you want. Lots and lots of DVDs. 
Usually when they have a big shipment of DVDs or books, they usually put them right at the entrance of your Dollar Tree. So be sure you take the time and go through these DVDs and Blu-rays um, because you can find a lot of great movies. I just can't believe you can find them for a dollar. It's just, it's crazy. They had more movies over here by the window, so it doesn't show up very well. They have the LED projector lights for Halloween. So they have the skeleton one and the witch with the haunted house. Here, this is like a banner. It says, you had me at Aloha. Um, I think they might have... Sh Why didn't they put that out like back in March, April, May, whatever? Ooh, this is new. Briarwood. It's a flag. Very nice. Is that a name brand? I don't know. These are CD envelopes, but you can always use them for gift cards or money for whatever you want. They had it in pink and gold. Made it over here by their books. Not much over here. I only spend, I don't know, maybe 20 seconds or so over here. And this Dollar Tree that I'm at right now is located in Kendallville. I can't believe I drove all the way out there Friday and I think I spent maybe $4 at the, this Dollar Tree. So yeah, very disappointed, but oh well. I mean, they had some new books, some new items, but nothing too exciting. And I believe this is the last row of books I go through. Just trying to refresh my memory from what I recorded last week for you. They did have some new candles, though. These are really cute. They are three ounces. They weren't really strong smelling, so I don't know how well the scent will throw. But the jars, absolutely adorable. I don't know if you can read the names of them. They're okay. Nothing... Too exciting, but they had a lot of these. Marshmallow. Okay, this looks awkward. Bamboo charcoal body scrub. Here's a soap dispenser. Pretty good size. Different. And these craft blooms. I think that's what it... No. Craft Stem. They have some new magnets. These are like um, canvas ones. <laughs> that's funny. My husband does a lot of the online ordering. Have courage and be kind. They had a bunch of this back in stock. Great deal for only a dollar. They had an end cap full of books as well. Now this Dollar Tree does usually have a lot of books. So if your Dollar Tree doesn't have a lot of books, well, this is probably the one they delivered them at. Uh, pug mugs. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I know a lot of you own pugs, so you might want to keep an eye out for that book. I don't know if you can hear my Frenchie in the background, but my gosh, she is snoring up a storm over here. This looks like a cute book. Oh, it's a comic book. My mom. The 
big mustache. Looks like a fox tail. Pretty cool book. Some old pictures in it. Okay, I've never seen this before. Different. Interesting. Very interesting. They had these pumpkins. They had it in two different colors. They have a lid on them. You can always paint them, decorate them. Okay, well, that's the end of our Dollar Tree trips. I sure hope you enjoyed it and you're able to find some goodies too. Jot down onto your wish list. If you want, why don't you go ahead and comment down below and let me know if you've seen something in hopes that you can find at one of your local Dollar Trees. If you enjoyed this video, I would love a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would really love to have you. If you would like to follow me on Instagram or TikTok, I'll go ahead and link that down below. The quick story time that I wanted to tell you is on Friday, last Friday, when I was at the Dollar Tree on Coldwater Road here in Fort Wayne, Indiana, I was in line to pay for my few items and there was a gentleman in front of me in a wheelchair and he had a brace on his leg and I could tell something was wrong with his hand. He might have had a stroke and he was having some issues with his hand, getting his money out. So he asked the cashier if he could, you know, help him get the money out. And he goes, do you think my order will be more than $20? And the cashier said it shouldn't be. And then his total came up to like 24 something. I really just wanted to buy all his groceries because that's all he was buying was groceries. But anyway, he got his stuff. I paid for my few items and he was having some trouble carrying his bags he was in his wheelchair and he was pushing himself with his feet and I just went up to him and I go can I help you hun carry your bags and he goes sure that'd be great so I carried his four bags and held the door open for him and I said can I help you to your car and he goes well I gotta wait for the bus so I said okay so I was standing next to him talking to him for a little bit so his, put his bags down and he asked what my name was and I go my name is Jenny and he goes hi Jenny my name is Jerry I had to talk myself into not crying because my dad's name was Jerry. My dad was in a wheelchair, although he had his leg amputated. But it just reminded me so much of my dad. And it's like, what are the odds? And we got talking a little bit more. And he goes, I'm sorry, I forgot your name again. I go, my name is Jenny. And I said, just think of Forrest Gump, John A. And he goes, run, Forrest. And I go, well, Jerry, you have a wonderful weekend and take care and he goes thank you very much jenny i'm gonna put you on my prayers list really didn't think much of it until <laughs> saturday saturday you guys my car wreck he i mean is that is that a sign you know this gentleman in front of me his name is jerry and he puts me on his prayer list. It, it, it just really shook me up when I really started thinking about it Saturday night. So I wanted to share that um, little bit of a story with you. I will share more about my accident. I just got the police report today. Um, so later I will do more in depth on what happened. Um... And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep that right there. I don't want to say too much right now. But anyway, I just want to say thank you to all of you for all of your love and your prayers. And um, I do have a long recovery ahead of me. Same with my husband. Um, we just got to take one day at a time. And we are very thankful that we are still here because things could have been a lot, a lot were. So again, I want to say thank you for always taking the time out of your day to stop and watch my video. So I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful, safe day. And always keep smiling. <laughs>